Hi, this is Terry Martins from Martins Metal Design. And today I'm going to paint the black face on a, a cardinal. Uh, I've created this cardinal. It's sitting on a piece of wrought iron fence. And he looks pretty plain without his, uh, the black part of his face. So I'm gonna show you how I do that today. Most people don't know that the male cardinal is uh, the only cardinal that's red. The female is not all red and m the color would be more precisely described as brownish or gray. So the, the male cardinal is the one that's red and then he has a black face. And what I do is I take a pencil and I'm actually, I look at a photograph of an actual cardinal every time I do this and I draw the line where I'm gonna paint the black. It already has one uh, coat of primer and two coats of red. So I just paint this black right over the red and it usually turns out really, really well. So my process is kind of unconventional, I guess. I made it up myself. Um, what I use is just a standard um, Rust-Oleum, now this is a Ultra Cover 2X paint and primer in one. But this is, what I'm using is semi-gloss black. And I just squirt a little bit of it in a container. I shoot a little bit in the container. And then I take a little tiny paintbrush and I very, very carefully start. The paint when it first comes out of the can is very runny, so you have to be very careful that there are no drips. Their eye is also black, so Paint the black in the eye. And the reason I started using just plain old spray paint is because that's what I had. And I'd need to touch something up or, um, you know, paint a couple of colors, but just on a little tiny area. So this is what I had and this is what I used. So I've finished around his eye, and then they have a piece that comes up over the bridge of their nose. And then they have a band that comes down under their beak. The paint is thickening up just a little bit as the chemical accelerant um, dissipates. And the way that I've made this bird, just out of um, pieces of metal, there's a lot of layers, so you kind of got to get it in some places that defy logic. Okay, doesn't that look a lot better? And I'm gonna connect this here so that from a distance it looks seamless. I still have quite a bit of paint left in my little cup. So now I'm gonna turn it and I'm gonna do the other side. Now I have to make sure that it hooks up from the other side. Looks good across the 
I don't know if that's the bridge of the beak or what it's called. I think that looks pretty, pretty close to what it looks like in real life. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll probably give it another uh, touch up coat. Uh, it's going to a gallery tomorrow. Um, and then how I clean this, uh, this little container, I have several of these, I think they were like frosting for pop strudels, toaster strudels or something. But they work really well and they last forever. And what I do is I just pour a tiny little bit of paint thinner in here and uh, swoosh it around with my brush. So I clean my brush at the same time, wipe it out with the paper towel, and then it's good to go the next time. And, and I've used these same uh, brushes and cups for years now. So uh, I don't have to spend extra money on different kind of paint and I'm putting an enamel on so it's gonna stay for a long time and it also matches the paint that's on there so thanks for watching